Okay, so today I'm gonna head over to a guitar shop that I have never been to before, and, and I am a little ashamed to admit it, but there's a guitar store uh, in Marietta, Georgia called Atlanta Vintage Guitars, and I've known about it for years, I've just never gotten over there, so today uh, we thought we'd make a trip over and see what they got, maybe do a little guitar shopping. From what I've seen online, they seem to have a bunch of cool, old, quirky amps, which I love. Uh, so we're gonna go play some stuff, see what they've got. Maybe we can meet the people that uh, that run it and see if we walk away with something. Red, we happen to be watching you right now. <laughs> really? So how can we? Yeah, I listened to your guitar tone. <laughs> That's hilarious. And here's what I thought. <laughs> Hey man, how you doing? Rhett, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Chris. Chris. Chris, how you doing? Good man, how, nice to meet this you. This is just a barbershop gang of us without nobody getting a haircut. <laughs> That's what we like to say. Man. Yeah, it's a cool shop. I've never uh, never been by before. Go ahead, just get over here. It is a real Lake Placid Blue. That's original. I had people tell me, no, it's been refinished. Well, because it's not green. It hasn't turned green. Right, like right. The other thing about it is, when I took the pit guard off, all you can see is primer inside right. it. Okay. So yeah. it, there's been no other color. I was expecting it to be a sunburst that they painted, but no, no, no. It was Man. original painted Lake Placid Blue. These and are always so funky looking. Oh yeah. It's like it's like it got left out in the sun and started to melt or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. They're upside down permanently or something. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> That's a cool bridge too. Is that those rollers in there? Yeah. The it it has some kind of roller, yes. Yeah. It appears to be I don't know much about the Moserite stuff, but Well Simi was wound up being in the gospel music business and a lot of he started uh at some point started uh kinda I think he recorded gospel music, and a lot of guys on the old Sunday morning gospel shows you would see play Mozart. Right, right. Once the 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 beat, he always thought that gospel music was going to be huge. And, right. yeah. I like the yeah the serial number serial yeah. numbers right there stamped in the in the fret. That's cool. Man, that thing's funky. Yeah, steel uh, steel nuts yeah. and a zero fret and a zero fret. I hate to quote it, yeah. wow. Luther used to go, and it Play sounds TV. great. Those pickups sound like a little stronger P90. Right? Yeah. My rule is I try not to put anything in store that I wouldn't play. This one I found up in South Carolina, and it's been refinished, but they did it in lacquer. The guy was a body guy, and it's a C25. Have you weighed this? What is this? It's a five-pound guitar. It, it's, it's very light. I have not weighed it. Wow. I've got my bass master scale. <laughs> That's what I weigh them on. I say, hey, if it's good enough for the bass masters, it rings, and it sounds great. He did a pretty good job painting. Yeah, I mean, it's checked. and I mean, that is lacquer. Yeah, that's, that's lacquer, yeah. For sure, that's lacquer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you know when it was refinished? He said sometime early 70s or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while, 67. Yeah, that's what I think the pots dated out to. 66 wow. or 67, is we dated it by the pots. These are cool. A friend of mine, uh, Zach, who owns Mythos Pedals, just bought one of these for his son. He yeah. had a three-year-old son. And so he uh, he got, and that's going to be his first guitar. So I think his is a 65, 66. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These are cool, man. Oh, well, we got smoking skulls just in time for Halloween. Just in time. <laughs> just in time for Halloween. Oh. This oh. is not a reissue. Whoa. 66. Whoa. Okay. No solder had ever been touched on the inside, according to my amp. Still so got the two, uh, two pound yeah. cable. Yeah, and whoa. a guy walked in here the other day, bought it at a Goodwill for $20. What? $20. Twenty dollars. He bought it for twenty dollars. I'll give you fifty for it. <laughs> I'll give you right now. I'll get it cash. Okay. Fifty bucks. Well, I wished I could. But. <laughs> 
Wow. Yeah. If I hit the lottery tonight, I'll just I'll just give it. Let to it you. let it go. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta I we gotta play that. That's yeah. these are cool too, these old grass. That is a we got this one. They all came from one guy. These are kind of like the Skylarks, right? Well, like yeah, little... but those were actually made by Supro. From what I've been studying, look at the 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 yeah the, the, the Tolex, on the Tolex covering on it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you got me. You got me interested now. With I like small old amps like that. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. 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 This amp right here is asleep. Phantom bass. I've never heard of this. Seventy, sixty-nine to seventy-one. All to you. 30 watts in a super reverb cabinet. They came with a Yamaha styrofoam speaker. They were for bass or keyboard. Right. And it's got a guitar channel and a bass channel. They stunk as a bass sound. They just, they just stunk. I remember hearing them, I remember people playing. But if you don't need reverb, and a super reverb is too loud. Right, well yeah. <laughs> this one, you can go about right there and it don't kill you. And it's the same Fancy of that nice. one. And there's your service merchandise special national amp. Look at that. That was the $29.95 in the service merchandise catalog <laughs> amp that went with the Barclay guitar. Or the Norma. I mean, it's lightweight, man. Yeah. That's a good little, you know, take it down to the local jam. And, you know, and, and it's, I don't know how it sounds. I have yet to plug it up, to be very honest with you. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to play some of this stuff for sure. Devil Cat. What's yeah, that? those are made here in Georgia. Uh, in Statesboro, Georgia. Wow, okay. And the, it's parentheses dumbleish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dumble esque. <laughs> Dumble esque. These are cool though. I like the. Yeah. I like the look. That of them. actually, those amp heads are actually made in a um, place that makes. They make the the cabinets in a place that makes military items for right. down in South Georgia. It's got a cool look for yeah. sure. Yeah, and it's a lot easier. Those that one's 19 watts. I mean, I'm sorry, three watts to 17 watts. Wow, it's actually okay. two amps right. that work together. Yeah, six L sixes. Okay. And then we have. I can't believe I still got it. The one knob and the truth. Those are great. To, is, that, is this one modded? The, no, it's all stock. All straight. Yeah, it, it's hard to find one that hasn't been, you know, all no. changed up and gone through and whatnot. But. Yeah, those are cool, man. The right over there is PV Mountain. We, oh yeah, <laughs> we are famous for our PV Mountain. But I'm gonna tell you something. It's like with me, you know, guys say, "Oh, I don't play through nothing but a band. Well, uh, you play through pedals. Yep. Yeah. There you go. It's the clean pedal platform. <laughs> this is a beast right here. This is a the only one that I was ever seen. It's a 115 tube uh, PV amp, all tube, but it's got a 15. And Whoa. it's got a black width of 15. Artist 115. Artist. They, a lot of steel players love that. Super high headroom kind yep. of thing. It's, okay. it's 100 watts the hard way. <laughs> but, um, but these bandits and the special, one time me and a buddy of mine was up in Nashville. And I, I actually, when I play it, I use a little PV Studio Pro 40. Right. And if somebody steals it, I'm about 150 bucks. Right. Maybe. Not worried about it. But the people out front, they don't care. I mean, it's going to sound, I'm going to sound like me regardless. You know? <laughs> the thing is, I can tote both of them. Right. I can tote both of them and not hurt my back. Right. Now that one will hurt your back. Yeah, I was going to say. And it, well, it's not that it bad. ain't bad, but. But the specials are a little heavier. But they're. Uh, but I've seen guys from Nashville when, I, when back in the 80s and the early 90s. Sometimes that's it, and sometimes those, those always work. Yeah. <laughs> when you plug them in, they all. One of my, one of my best friends likes to say, "Hey man, if PV made a car, I'd drive it." <laughs> See, you know? it always works. <laughs> oh, and right over there. Whoa. There is another little L. That is the BB King model. This uh, is wild looking. What that's is got this? a Morley uh, face shifter. That's an SG, and that is a tube mount. I don't know if it's tube preamp. I haven't 
dug into it much, but back in 79, when I got to shake hands with Eric Clapton and saw B.B. King, they were both plugged in amp just like that. That's crazy. Look at this. The veg EQ. Match. It looks like a stove. <laughs> It'll cook a turkey in under 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Cook a turkey in under 30 minutes. This yeah. thing is rad. Yeah, and you can drop it off of a building and it'll still play. Looks like something from Clockwork Orange. Yeah, but when I went and saw BB and Clapton got up with them and played, and they both plugged in, but before that, you're at a show, Eric Clapton walks in with an entourage of six guys. Right. Three's on this side, three's on this side. You're two rows back. You're Rhett Shull. You're two rows back. These three guys leave to go get a beer. Clapton was drinking that night. Right. Trust me. <laughs> and I, it was my chance. So I went up to him, went up two rows, shook his hand, and he looked at me like he thought I was going to shoot him or something. I mean, he, I'll never forget those big eyes. You know. And I said, I'm just a big fan. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to see. <laughs> went and sat back down. Later, BB kept calling him to come up and play. And next thing I know, I'm standing in front. So we're up front waiting, and BB had been calling, clapped, and he wouldn't come up. Well, all of a sudden, I'm watching BB and kind of turning around, watching around. Suddenly, two hands are on my shoulders, looking over my head. It's Eric Clapton. <laughs> That's True awesome, story. That I got awesome. witnessed. <laughs> Little Music Man head. Five, yeah. And that is the one that's for bass or guitar. So line six. Yeah. Two of them. Look at that. You had this and the, the Helix. Yeah. <laughs> one step apart. Yeah. Axis 212. Look at this. You got, let's see here. We got wah type. Auto wah, rando wah. You got every an acoustic sound sim. On demand. Every sound you need. And I don't understand why people don't just play this. You got a rotary. Oh. You got a, a sine chorus, a mono square. Look at all these reverbs you got here. You can even change the cabinet type. Yeah. That one has problems. The one on the left works fine. And it has the foot. And the one on the left has way more uh, yeah. options. Yeah. Look at that. I'm actually kind of selling those as a two for one. <laughs> you set me up for a nice uh... it's a minute to kick in. There you go. So we're going to try this SG system. I have no idea what this amp is. I've never seen this before. I've never heard of this, but you can't not play it. I mean, it, this actually does look like an oven knob, like, but it looks like it's got this weird mid notch feature thing here. Phase shift. How do you even turn it? I don't know. He turns this thing on. Okay. All right, I see light. Okay. Wonder what the waveform controls. It's got reverb. Thank you. 
That sounds pretty good, actually. Oh, that's got kind of the... Uh... This is cool. It, you don't see a lot of base sixes. And if you do, a lot of times they're the, the crazy custom shop ones that are yeah. six, seven thousand dollars. a lot of fun um, I'm a little ashamed to admit that it's taken me this long to get over to that shop but I'm glad we went and checked it out Greg is such a sweet guy and a, <laughs> a really great character there were so many little phrases and sayings he dropped that I'm gonna be laughing about for he uh, Chris when we were off camera sat down with this arch top guild and started playing some some of his jazz chops and Greg walked over and said man he read the whole Mel Bay book <laughs> So uh, yeah, if you are in the, the North Atlanta, Marietta area, I highly recommend going to check out Atlanta Vintage Guitars. I, I That's the type of shop that I love to see, a small local mom and pop guitar store. And we're lucky here around Atlanta to have several of those, Atlanta Discount Music, Righteous, Atlanta Vintage. There's a lot of these guitar stores that are not just standing the test of time, but they seem to be thriving, which is cool. So. Yeah, I ended up walking away with that vintage uh, small stone phaser, which is cool. I've been looking for one of those for a while, and, and the price was right, so we picked that up. But um, yeah, I'll have a link to their Instagram and, and website and everything down below. You can also find links to support the channel down there. If you'd like, pick up a video course, something like that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Rhett Scholl, and remember, there is no plan B.